Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. In this tech note, I'll cover some what I think are useful hints and tips. For tip one, a reminder that the Arduino IDE, the, the ESP core, has been updated. It's now at version 2.4 and that core has resolved many issues. So if you follow that link there I've provided, you can read the full details, but I'll cover some of the more prominent ones uh, in the coming tips. One of the areas that never worked with the ESP8266 was uh, time zones. You can now, here's an example I've provided, you can now set the time zone using the uh, POSIX standard time zone formats and you can use the environment variable. It covers all of the time zone elements for you. To set up time is that short section in the middle there that I've given an example of and I've also there explained what various numbers mean. So it's month three which is March, week five which is the code for the last Sunday which is day zero, three March, five the last Sunday in the month, the Sunday is zero. Month 10 is October, it's the last Sunday in October and then the hour moves forward or backwards and you can look up your country code on that link there I've provided to replace that example time zone format. So that's good news. Time now works easily and uh, effectively on the ESP8266. In this tip I thought I'd cover the use of the library called Wi-Fi Multi which is extremely convenient. You can name a number of SSIDs or networks and give it a, an appropriate password for that network and it will go sequentially through that list looking for a network to connect to from the uh, strongest to the weakest and you just need to include the Wi-Fi multi library create a Wi-Fi multi object follow that code example there and that's it it uh, it's convenient quick and easy to use and here's the same example for the ESP32 it's almost identical note that the prefix for Wi-Fi multi has had the uh, ESP8266 uh, removed so almost identical code just as easy to use when you're using uh, the Wi-Fi manager or Wi-Fi multi or any Wi-Fi uh, on the ESP devices sometimes it's useful to erase those credentials if you're giving the device to someone else for example or you just want to clear the device back to a factory default and to do that you can use the command ESP erase config so that's fairly easy to use so it works on both devices so ESP erase config there's a function called ESP restart which is very useful I think it's very useful traditionally when you're waiting for something to happen you can most programs put you into a uh, a never-ending loop so in that top example there when you can't make a Wi-Fi connection it goes into an endless loop well rather than do that it's much better in my opinion to if you can't make a network connection restart the ESP and try again and keep trying again I think that's a far better solution or indeed you could intercept the restart to try something different in this tip I'll cover the use of the C query operator so it's a ternary operator so it takes or it has three components or three values it's a query question mark is the result true do this or is the result false do that if a value is less than one do this otherwise do that uh, if you want to print time or a number with a leading zero so I set there an example minute equals one if I'll read the line where it says serial print if the minute is less than 10 print a zero otherwise print nothing then print the minute and then it prints 01 and there I've given you a full example of how to format 
hours, minutes and seconds with leading zeros. So it's very, very convenient tool to use. And you can do that in line, a function in line, which is exceptionally handy. And my final tip is to um, use logical names. So rather than develop a, an IP based network based ESP solution, and, and try and find out what the IP address, monitor the serial port, wait for it to tell you what the IP address is. You can actually use this multicast domain name server service. Define a logical name for your device, my device in this example. Then you can use the logical name mydevice.local in your browser. Uh, it makes life much more convenient. But it only works if your PC or Mac has Bonjour um, installed. Uh, some of the later browsers do support that service. Well, there were a few tips. I hope you found them useful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful.